I need to go get some lumber for my uh, little building project over there with the exercise equipment. <laughs> Money, 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 gurgle, 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 money, 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 Biden, oh, oh, that's right, that's Putin, right, that's Putin did that, Putin gurgle, gurgle, no, I don't think so, and I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not even the bright side of America, and I know it ain't Putin. <laughs> I know what happened to my gas prices. I know exactly what happened to them. And I'm not even the, the brightest part of America. So I'm pretty sure most of America knows what happened to their gas prices. Apparently we didn't like it before when we could afford to go to the grocery store and buy meat for the 4th of July and fuel for our cars and tractors. Anyway, gonna bring my little chainsaw. I'm not going after any big logs. Got a couple straps there. Take you guys for a ride and show you my new road that I made. That'll be fun. Show you my new road that I made. completely forgot that I told a guy I would send him pictures of that truck he's interested in a 58 Chevy beat side I'll send him pictures of that one too I don't know if you can see them but we'll go ahead and send him one of those Okay, send him his pictures. Also gotta find a hood ornament today.
there's the tree I have in mind right there. I made this road a few months ago. And it's a short, shorter road to the river and our campground from the trailer. But that's the tree I had in mind right there. Anyway, I'll show you where the road goes. Give you a little context. That's a good post right there. So there's the stream right there. There's the stream right there. And there's our green container. You can see the shop in the box right there to the left a little. I don't know if you can see it. There's our green container. There's the porta potty. So that tall tree right there is right next to the stage that I just built. So, and there's actually a natural ramp that goes down right over there. That's just tall grass. It acts, there's actually a like a roadway that goes down right there. I just gotta mow that. And uh, then we have another dry stream crossing. Once you, like this is the first stage of making a road back here. Once you get it cleared, you know, where there's not logs and stuff like that, just driving along it with the tractor on a regular basis will keep it maintained. is in the bucket hopefully it's still there yeah at least I didn't get too stupid I wonder what all those holes are from I need this slug I need it oop oop Okay, I can get that out from there. This one, I think I'm gonna have to pull the bottom over.
We'll see. Hope you guys can see. I'm actually way out in the middle of nowhere in the woods right now and that's a big tree so I'm gonna kind of play it safe a little bit and uh, I think I can give that a good tug and maintain my distance and get the lumber I need I need that wood I need it I'm gonna use that yellow strap. Yeah. Better put a ratchet on it too. I'd never get the knot undone. Sorry about my breathing. 
it is getting better been taking my medicine and stuff so that's all good oh be good position for me right here <sighs> my phone was ringing whoo Good hunk right there. That's perfect. Nice hardwood too. Thank you, Lord, for the awesome logs. I got three. Big one right here, which I have a plan for. Got this guy right here for uh, handrail posts. And I got the one around the corner right there. And I didn't have to kill a single tree. And I cleaned my property up a little more. <laughs> all right let's see if i can haul this with my uh auger since that's all i have right now yeah i just need it off the ground like that that's fine let's skedaddle I'll uh, put you guys on backwards, you watch the log. You watch the log and I'll watch the road.
do for now. I can build a build a few things with that. There we go, trying to get a copyright strike. All right, so anyway, I figured that since I'm out here doing this, so I figured since I was doing this, I had all this extra area, and I've always kind of planned on adding over here, and I had a lot of extra space there, so just wanted to get a shot of that real quick, and I'll probably come back when I'm putting the rails up or something. We'll put the steps in or the rails for the steps. I gotta go. If I'm gonna build it, I might as well build it big, right? Is thicker though. Or this guy. I need some of this for that edge right there. This one's real straight though. So all that came from back in the woods. This is a cool one. I bet you this is bright red when it's like. Yeah. Oh, I need a cane. Oh. A hurry cane. Hurry. I've made. I'll be cleaning it up soon. As soon as I get these railings done, I'm out of here. Next project.
matches you. Yeah, you kind of look like it. <laughs> Classic truck rescue. Well, what do you think? My human restoration facility. It's also a stage for when we have groups out here. And it's also the intro area for the CTR videos. Anyway, I'll show you around a little bit. This is something that I worked really hard on. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time just to get in shape. I gotta get in shape. Gotta start moving more. And actually building this has helped me to kick off getting into shape because it was a lot of work. Whew. Anyway, I built it to keep my exercise equipment out of the weather and close where I can have a regular routine. That's the key to getting in shape. You gotta have a regular routine and stick to it, which I'm going to do, but it's good to have all your equipment in one area covered and stuff like that. And anyway, I bought that equipment a long time ago and it's in excellent condition. And I've kept it tarped with brand new tarps and straps and everything, but it got sprinkled on this morning because I took the covers off in anticipation of moving it up here. But uh, we still have to pressure wash the deck and then Jamie got some stuff that she wants to spray the wood with. Like that log right there, it's covered with mud. I guarantee you it will clean up. I'll bring you with me. Here, let me show you a little closer. Look, see, we used the little river rock. Uh, I just finished building it and once I had the stairs connected to the main deck I brought Jamie some gravel and dumped it right there. Oh, we got to put a little more right there That's the electric. I've got electric run to it and uh, brought her a couple loads of river rock Anyway, uh, we like it. So this is the bed off of that truck the light blue one I don't know if you can see it It's over yonder we call it Humphrey uh, it's a 1958 Chevy Viking 50 I believe but anyways this is the bed that was on it and I know that looks really rotten on the edges but it, it's actually not uh, and then I used a couple of pallets like the ones I used for our deck over there that's the porch like the ones I used for the porch over there that's the porch this is the deck and then I split some logs down the middle for a, you know a flat kind of railing I I got lazy over there that board will clean up uh, patched my roof panels these were off of a, a, an old shop a sandblasting shop I believe and uh, just used kind of stuff that was laying around look I got a little light switch right up here I know I got to get a little more high-tech on the electrical but that's kind of cool huh I'll give you a shot of it tonight and uh, I was gonna put my elliptical right here where I can look downstream and upstream believe it or not upstream is right there it's got to whack that bush and uh, we'll put our intro table over there but before we do all that this all this wood needs to be pressure washed and then Jamie has some stuff she wants to spray on it that will preserve the wood and give it some color mostly it's for protection but I'm happy with it and uh, but what I was thinking it's July 5th you know what I did for July 4th nothing I thought about my country and uh, this the the current situation in my country and I saw a news thing where these people I'm not gonna get specific I'm just gonna say some peace people east of the Cascades uh, the city published a letter apologizing to the people and it's a big city apologizing to the people but about having a 4th of July festival you know fireworks and stuff like we do here in America Anyways, they apologized. The city council apologized to the taxpayers of this American city for uh, having a 4th of July fireworks extravaganza. But they said, we already bought the fireworks, so we're just going to do it. Hmm. Nobody asked to apologize to me for buying any fireworks. They don't. Or American flags or anything like that. Get it. Get it. Speaking of American flags. So... Uh, contemplating heavily the situation of my country I decided that all we can do is 
be Americans and be proud to be Americans. And I bought a ridiculously large aluminum flagpole a long time ago. It's laying in the bushes, but I've got everything for it. And I just bought 10 bags of cement and I, I put them on a pallet out in the pasture right next to where I'm gonna bore the hole. The only problem is now we gotta fire up those trucks that I'm using to build my building. You see how this all works together? Get in shape. Everything's leading towards building the building. Let's hear it for Rick. A brother root. Let's hear it for Jamie for putting this little shindig together. I saw that Polish up at some god awful hour in the morning, getting set up for all these folks to be here. And us, we super appreciate having the ability to play music for y'all and for Rick's birthday. Thank you. We're sinners like us. And this stage kicks ass. Rick did an amazing job of it. Probably the. the most awesomest stage I've ever played on, hands down. It's a good thing we're all like 5'8". <laughs> I'm 5'6". We we're like, is the stage tall enough? Not the shortest no. guy here. <laughs> we'll play underneath that. <laughs> That's after the show. I'm taller laying down than I am standing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> This one's called Sad Heart. Sawtooth. He works around here. Yeah. I'll light the way for you, Sawtooth. You're doing good work. You're doing real good work, buddy. Good job. Rick appreciates it. 
Anyway, he's got a heck of a flapper on him. Look at his tail. He's a good looking beaver. Good boy, I saw your past. Good job, Sawtooth. We'll see you later, buddy. See you later.